you know, you might think a certain way or interact in the, cer in the world in a certain way, but you don't really have a kind of framework for organizing how you do it. And when I ran into permaculture, I'm like, oh, now that makes sense. It's like everything about it just, it, it was like obvious, but the things you've never thought about before. And, and just making the connections really between everything um, and doing that in a functional way. Permaculture is forests, it's ecosystems, it's, it's things nature does anyway that we can affect to be more productive for us, from, for what, what would we would define as productive or edible or agricultural. An ethical system of ecological design for creating, for meeting human needs while regenerating the ecosystems in which we're embedded. It's a design system, right? Um, and it's a design system for humans to be able to um, create environments that are both beneficial for, for human activity and to the environment in, in mutually beneficial ways. Permaculture design seeks to create regenerative, productive systems that add to the health of our ecology and meet human needs. It's the kind of thing that makes you want to do something. Um, and it doesn't just make you want to do something, like we, the, the course helps you figure out how to um, and doesn't kind of leave you hanging um, like people often, often feel when they you know, are thinking about these kind of issues. What you can expect from the Finger Lakes Permaculture Institute's course is a handful of very experienced teachers who are going to lead you through the permaculture design process. The information just pours like all day long. Right. Like there are activities, there are hands-on events, there are like notes you have to take. Like just so much information just gets given to you with handouts and movies and resources. Challenging to, to absorb and we really balance that uh, the classroom time with hands-on time. Wake up, everybody's in their tents, it's very quiet, some people are snoring. You walk through sometimes misty for, uh, pine forest that the ground is really soft. You go to the kitchen, you stay, you get to watch the sun come up, have your cup of coffee before anyone else is awake, like listen to the birds wake up, mists rolling over the hills, like a very natural setting, very beautiful. Class starts around eight, and there's a big bullhorn and blow just to make sure everybody's awake and they're on time. And then for the next incredible amount of time, you're in class. The afternoons are usually uh, some kind of hands-on activity or a demonstration, maybe a field trip somewhere. You know, what's unique here, we always joke that this is kind of like permaculture camp here because it's a beautiful setting, the camping's really nice, the, the food's great, you know, we're in a beautiful setting and so swimming holes are right around the corner and so it really feels like it's intensive but it's also a vacation. And that's one thing I think you get when you come to Flipsy, when, like, when, you, when you do it here, not only is it incredible, it's the Finger Lakes, so there's, all, there's rivers everywhere, riparian zones, borders from the, like, the huge lake edges, all the rippling mountain ranges. So there's a huge amount of like diversity, not only biological, but like social diversity. It's nice to have a permaculture group in the Northeast that has all that knowledge of local plants and the local resources. And um, you know, a lot of people are, are doing permaculture here. I personally learn best from demonstration sites. And so, you know, it's nice to be able to go and see things really in action. We have the benefit of um, a group of teachers who have been doing this, well, at least 10 times. Um, since we've started the course, we've continually uh, sort of revised and improved how we teach. So you should be able to walk out of this course uh, ready to go design your own property or somebody else's. There are so many reasons <laughs> why people would benefit in all aspects of their lives with certain applications of permaculture practices. I think it's a great place uh, to start for people who are think they're interested in, in finding more solutions and, and being more proactive about um, creating a better environment for themselves and for, and for the environment. I've met a lot of great people um, that have both work in this course and um, have, have come to take the course and that has really, it's even been building community here just, I mean, 
four years ago, I didn't, or two years ago, I wasn't living around, you know, I was living 20 minutes away. And then when it came time to buy property, there was one right by Flipsy. And I said, hell, that's where I want to go. <laughs> It's, it's also great because you can have so many different people that live in such different environments and can all gain the same um, types of skills at a permaculture design course um, because the, I mean, it's, it's a lot of theoretical things and you can really apply permaculture to any scale, any climate, whether you live, you know, in a high-rise apartment in the city or, you know, in the woods or out in the Midwest, um, you know, anywhere. The closing ceremony at the end where you get to hear from students, what they thought they were get coming here for, what they learned while they were here, and how it's changed them. Um, and, and a key theme that I hear from everybody is, you know, at home, I thought I was the only one who thought what I think. But now I've been with so many people that I have so much in common with that they feel reconnected and fortified to go out and do the world changing work that can be very exhausting and draining, but they feel like they have, you know, some, some fresh energy. Take the Permaculture Design Certificate course if you want to have a lovely two weeks in the Finger Lakes this summer. If you want to learn a way to look at the world and design your life if you want to make a great new bunch of friends, um, please come join us.